my, my theme for the presidential year is one voice and I need to give a little bit of perspective on what, what's driving that. The, the first issue for me is the consumer agenda. Uh, it's very much in play and in my personal opinion it's going to take a lot of momentum going forward now. And it's about time we as a sector addressed the whole issue of the public uh, trust and the consumer agenda. And that applies to uh, every organisation, every sector from airlines to retail to utilities. And I don't think insurance and financial services we are, we are any different. So that's, that's the driving force. The second thing is there's a number of issues going on with what the consumer now expects in terms of transparency, clarity and simplicity. So put those two together, I wanted to create a, a situation where I want to try and bring a number of organisations that talk about the public agenda, the public trust agenda and bring them all together under the banner of one voice. I'm not uh, suggesting in any way, shape or form that these organisations merge or we take them over. It's purely just to get them on site and say, if we were going to talk about 10 different things, I think there's a common agenda that we all agree on, so I'd like to get things out into the public domain which addresses this issue. I think that's, that's an interesting position because I think I'm probably unique in terms of the last uh, few few presidents where I actually look after customers, real customers, ranging from anything from £5,000 premium to half a million pounds in premium and paying fees and, and the sort of commission. So I think I'm in a very much of a unique position where I do understand what the customer wants, how he or she wants it, when they want it. So I think for me, my broken experience and still looking after customers is, is a great asset. I can stand in front of my, uh, my, my, my group, in front of meetings with staff on claims, on accounts, on underwriting, on distribution, and nobody should be able to say to me, I've got no idea what I'm talking about. So I think my broken experience and my continuous uh, I suppose a not look at policy wording gives me an advantage and my day-to-day -day dealing with the clients keeps my feet on the ground so I think that's a great asset. Absolutely, the professional agenda is, is, is in parallel with what I'm talking about. I think this, the, the whole issue of professionalism, which has been discussed in every corridor of in, uh, intermediaries, brokers, uh, MGAs, insurance, distributors, capacity providers, that is, that is a common theme. So that will continue as, as, as a parallel agenda. And I think part of the work that the CI is doing in, in, in reference to the charter status agenda and also the revamp uh, consultation, that will keep it on the boil on a continuous basis. So I think the professional agenda is, is a constant, it's a given and I'm very much happy that it's being embraced by all uh, trade bodies, trade associations and other organisations. It's what the customer expects. I think we should continue sponsoring that.